Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a 1920s inspired Louise Brooks makeup tutorial. And if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Laura. This is a channel where we talk about all things vintage, fashion, and beauty. So if you love those things, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the big red button below. All right, let's talk a little bit about Louise Brooks so you can kind of get a bit of history about her. So she was born on November 14th, 1906 and passed away on August 8th, 1985. She was really well known in the 1920s um, and 1930s. She was re regarded as a kind of a jazz age icon and a flapper sex symbol due to her popular bob hairstyle. All right, let's jump right into my Louise Brooks makeup tutorial. So we're gonna start with the smoky eye. The 1920s is basically the birth of the smoky eye. So a woman had very dark eyes, or like gray, kind of dark blue eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go in with a dark blue, and then after that, I'm gonna go in with a gray. To start, I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush, and I think I'm gonna do a bit of the dark blue mixed with the green, and then after that, I am gonna go in with the gray. But I kind of just want to darken it up and create a really nice smoky eye. And this dark blue, you don't need very much, but for the 1920s, they basically did all the way through the lid. They didn't, you know how like in the 1960s they do the crease, it's basically just a smoky eye. And they cover the whole lid. And I like the dark blue because it kind of creates that dramatic 1920s look. And as you can see already, I, it gives that look. So I don't, you don't need very much either. So now that I have the base with the dark blue, I wanna add a little bit of green just to play around a bit and see how that looks. And there is an emphasis, I feel like in the 1920s, everything kind of was elongated this way outwards, the eyebrows and the eye makeup. So it wasn't lifted up, it was more scooped down. So I'm kind of trying to make it go like this way a bit downwards versus like lifting up. And then I'm just adding a little bit green on top just to kind of play up the look a bit. Then I'm going to go in with the dark gray silver color on top just to finish off the look because in um, the 1920s like dark silver gray eyeshadows were very popular. This is more like an evening out, silent film flapper look. And as you can see, I'm kind of scooping it downwards. And that is it for the eyeshadow, as you can see. It's basically just a really bold, smoky eye look. And now I'm gonna go in and do the eyebrows. In the 1920s, the eyebrows were quite thin and they were elongated downwards. I'm gonna go in with a pencil and my eyebrows are on the thicker side, so in the 1920s they're definitely thinner and more over plucked. But I'm gonna go in just to elongate the ends. And as you can see, I'm drawing things quite elongate. They went all the way down, not like modern eyebrows that kind of stop, so I'm definitely drawing it way longer than it should be to elongate that look, because everything in the 1920s kind of drooped downwards versus up. So I'm just filling them in. And the 1920s makeup was very inspired by ancient Egypt, so this almost has an Egyptian look with these elongated eyebrows. So as you can see now, my eyebrows are done. And I'm gonna go in with a bit of eyeliner on the top and bottom eye. They definitely didn't use a cat eye in the 1920s, so I'm just gonna gently line the lid. And as you can see, I didn't do any wing at all. I just basically lined the lid. And then I'm gonna go underneath. And that is it for the eyeliner. So I didn't do any cat. I just basically lined the top and the bottom. 
And I ended up getting some eyelash extensions, so I'm not gonna put on mascara. And in the 1920s, they didn't wear mascara, mascara underneath either. But if you don't have eyelashes, you can use the Besme Cosmetics Cake Mascara. Um, you could also even try this for your eyebrows too, to do them. I know it comes in brown too, if your eyebrows aren't um, that dark. So you could use this for your mascara, because in the 1920s, they used cake mascara. Now I'm going to go in with the blush. I'm going to use 1915 Rose color from Besame Cosmetics. And this is a nice historically accurate rose color. And in the 1920s, they didn't do elongated like brush strokes for the blush. It was done in a circular motion and it was done kind of lower because they wanted everything in the face to be rounded instead of like elongated up. So I'm going to go in and do rounded brush strokes in a circular motion lower down on my cheeks. I know it seems counterintuitive because nowadays you usually want to do kind of emphasize your cheekbones a bit more instead of kind of doing lower and rounder, but this is how they did it in the 1920s in like a round kind of circular motion on your lower cheeks. And that is it for the blush. And last but not least is the lipstick. So in the 1920s, they had that Cupid's bow look. And it was kind of like a thin, shorter lip that was pointed on the top. And I'm going to use Besame Cosmetics Blood Red. And this one's from 1922, I believe. So in the early 20s, they had like a dark brownish um, maroon red. So I'm gonna go in with this color. And I'm going to start by doing the Cupid's bow on my lip and kind of create that overdrawn pointed look. And I like the Besame lipstick because it has kind of a flat end, it's easy to do that 1920s look so I just use the tips and use it to point my lips. So that is my 1920s lip. As you can see, it's quite pointed in the middle to create that Cupid's bow look. And this is Louise Brooks. So as you can see, she has that very short bob look. And the new Downton Abbey, you could see that Lady Mary had this haircut, which was very popular in the 20s. It was definitely a flapper look. And she, you can see she had the very thin lip with the cupid's bow and then the smoky eye. And as you can also see in her eyebrows, they are elongated outwards. So this is kind of my go-to 1920s inspired beauty look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you tried a 1920s look? And which decade or movie star would you like me to do next?